Assume that y varies inversely as x, if x equals 12 when y equals 4. Find y when x equals negative 1 half. Again, I'm given three points and I'm asked to find the fourth, so I'm going to use the product rule. x1, y1 equals x2, y2, which follows from the fact that this product and this product are both equal to k. Therefore, they're equal to the same value, so they are equal to each other. Now, I have an x1 right here. That's 12. I'm going to write out my points. 12, y is 4, so 12 and 4. And my second set of points are y1, y2, which is unknown, and x2, which is negative 1 half. So my second set of points is negative 1 half y2. I'm going to go ahead and write the, uh, plug these values in for the different variables. So I have x1 is 12 times y1, which is 4, equals negative 1 half times y2. In order to solve this, I need to multiply both sides by negative 2. So it's going to give me negative 2 times 12 times 4 equals negative 2 times negative 1 half times y2 to isolate the y over here. This is going to cancel out. So I'm just going to be left with 1 times y2, or y2. Negative 2 times 12 is negative 24, times 4 is negative 96. So y2 is equal to negative 96. And I was able to determine that using the product rule, which describes this relationship between two sets of points and an inverse variation. So today on Educator.com, we discussed inverse variation, did some graphing, and learned how the product rule can help you to find a missing point given three other points in an inverse variation. See you again soon.